certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Thursday evening, Mid-Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Chris Eastlick with your Thursday forecast update. After a much-needed break this afternoon from the rain, another round getting set to move through this evening. Those showers not expected to bring any severe weather, though a rumble of thunder may be possible in a few isolated spots. And it looks like we've got some showers that are a bit steadier than others, but these should pass through otherwise with little trouble at all other than being a nuisance at this point. And the frontal boundary that's responsible for them is still roughly in the same position as it was yesterday, but it will pick up the pace tomorrow and finally clear the region, giving us a dry day as we start the weekend. It will take some time to get there. Showers will be fairly widespread tonight once they move back in. And then as we go into the overnight, they'll start to slow down and most of us are dry for Friday morning. Eventually, we will see the showers come back as the cold front passes through. Some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms are possible for Friday evening. So if you do have high school football games in town tomorrow, I would definitely plan for the possibility of rain, but not everyone will see see a shower, just be prepared in case. As we go into Friday night, those showers will eventually move out. The winds will switch to more of a northwesterly direction and we'll start our cool down going into early next week, but we should get some sun at least at times on Saturday. Low temperatures tonight will be in the 60s tomorrow, upper 60s to low 70s, thanks to uh, the southwesterly winds that stick around for one more day. Your TV5 First Alert 7-day forecast shows temperatures are much cooler on Saturday with that northwesterly wind switch, and then we'll start to drop into the 40s for early next week. A chance for rain and, yes, snow showers on Tuesday of next week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.